Thanks for staying with us. Now, earlier today, there was a, um, violence around the Obalende part of Lagos. And in that video um, that we saw online, we saw police officers on um, the side guarding their territory as different fractions of the NURTW members clashed. Now, there's hardly any part of, um, what's it called? Uh, okay, that's the video playing now. And now there's hardly any part of Lagos where you won't find the NURTW men collecting taxes from commercial bus drivers, seeing them armed with guns and machete, you know, left very pertinent questions of the safety of every single Lagosian um, uh, should any clash, you know, or if this clash has, it had escalated. Also, knowing there is still a planned protest and counter protest slated for um, this Saturday, by the um, Occupy Leki um, Togate uh, protesters and also the Defend Lagos protesters. How should po police proactively approach this to avert any loss of life and properties? That's our question for tonight. So let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. On the second half of the show, we're going to open our phone lines, but we just want to have the conversation. So um, let me come to Uti. First, so when you saw that video today, I mean, I saw it quite early this morning. Um, I'd seen it, I think, on Alibaba's page. And, you know, what struck me in the video was not really about, I mean, the, the violence that was happening. I saw a group of policemen, you know, almost like guarding their territory. Like, you know, they, they were not even perturbed. They were not moved. And this were, uh, and you saw in that video guys with guns, I mean, guns. There were gunshots there, machete and all of that. So... That got me wondering, you know, is this how um, um, these people, would I, I don't know what to call them, hoodlums or whatever, would just have um, freedom to do whatever it is that they want to do in Lagos? And if this thing had escalated beyond just them clashing against each other, how safe are we, you know, in Lagos? How? Because these people are everywhere. Long story short, to answer your question, Ua, um, we're not safe. We live in a lawless country. We live in a country where people take the law into their hands every day. I mean, take the take a traffic light, for example. In Nigeria, it's a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Or maybe let me stick to Lagos. In Lagos, it's a suggestion. You have the bike riders and the Okada riders just flying by. You have the pedestrians crossing. I mean, let's, let's be honest. We're lawless people. We, we, that's what we are. And seeing that today, and every time we see these clashes, I believe it was last week or so, there was something that happened somewhere around the police station in Itire, in Surulere. I mean, yes. the reality of it is where, where, you know, doomsday clock, we're always one second away from something kicking off. Hmm. Where, you know, we're on a powder keg. People are angry, people are frustrated, people are idle. Then you have all these different factions. I mean, I was looking today on Twitter when this was happening, and so many people are saying, well, NER, NERTW, they're claiming they're a faction of the, of the government. They're not thugs. I mean, there's all sorts. So when you see this happening, and, and well, like you mentioned, the police is on standing on one side of the road. I ask myself sometimes, as much as the police has a job to do to protect the citizenry, when you see two sets of people going at war, given the history, and very his recent history, might I add, of the police, these guys are probably thinking, you know what, let's just let them fight it out and we'll just stand by the wayside. Hmm. It's not the right thing to do, but it's the reality that we find ourselves in, in, in Nigeria today, in Lagos today. It's sad, but that's, that's the shocking truth. But what will give, uh, let me come to Lami, what will give these people the F country, right? To, uh, as in broad daylight, because these are the same people, you know, I mean, for me, I feel these are the same people that would go and snatch ballot boxes, that would go and cause mayhem during elections and all of that. What would give them that effrontery to do something like this? Given that this location where they are located, you know, I think they have the Dodan barracks there. There are police stations there. You know, I mean, when um, Lagos used to be the capital of... Um, of Nigeria, that place was the hub of the real activities of, of uh, the premium offices or, or uh, industries happening there. So that is a well-guarded area. So if you have the, the effrontery to do something like that, amidst this barracks, the army, the police, 
Then where, where is my own safety? Pua, you just answered the question. You said these are the people that would snatch Valor's death. So what does that say to you? That they are having death by the government. So it's, you've answered the question. What else do you want me to say? In broad daylight, carrying machete, guns, and all, and the police is powerless. So what does it tell you? These are people that openly campaign for the ruling of, for the ruling party in Lagos. So what do you expect the, the, the police should do? Do you want them to ah well no? <laughs> You've answered the question. No, but I so don't this is we're in a banana republic. We are living in a banana republic. The earlier, the better for us that we all understand that we are living in the banana republic, the better for us. So, well, well, the police said that they arrested because you know, at first I was saying, okay, so what's gonna happen? But the police have come out to say that, because um, I saw uh, it on, um, I think online on the Punch newspaper saying that they had arrested six people and they've also summoned the transport union leaders, right? So I am, I am wondering, um, what is most scary for me? Because now I'm moving it into the conversation of Saturday, right? These people that are saying that they want to protest to occupy the lucky toll. They are still insisting that they are going to come out on Saturday. The people that say they want to defend the Lagos, uh, Lagos, they are also insisting that they will also come out to defend Lagos. What should be a proactive step that the police should be taking, you know, in terms of safeguarding lives and properties, knowing that this thing is already coming, you really cannot stop it. The Minister for Information, Alaji Lai Mohammed, has said this, that they are banning any form of protest because they cannot guarantee that it will not turn out violent. So because of that, it, yeah, you have your human, fundamental human right to, to protest, but they are banning the protest because they cannot guarantee um, the, um, what's it called, the safety or, or if violence will not ensue. Now, clearly, from the effrontery that these young people have, that they are clearly telling you that they are part of the government, does this not tell you where the, gov the violence is even coming from in the first place? Uti, let me come to you. So, again, you know, you, you all know how I feel about this thing and how I felt about the last um, time in, in October. Why allow someone or give someone the opportunity to use you, right? The, the fact that you have a right to protest and you want to come out to protest, yes, it's your human right. But when you also have precedence to know that this thing can be used by other people for very unsavory purposes yeah. to the kind of end that I'm still pained. I mean, I know businesses that still haven't reopened since October of last year. So when we say that we're coming out to protest, I'm like, what do you expect that will happen differently? Because it's you coming out to say, I have a right to protest. But then you're not just putting yourself in danger. You're putting other people in danger. You're putting the environs in danger. I know that today a circular has already been sent around about the things that are being done to protect Lekki Phase 1 because of everything that happened the last time. We've already seen that, the, 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 and you must sort of, how can I put this down? The police are the source of this unrest. How do we expect that same police to come out and keep the peace? Hmm. The army are the source of this unrest. How can we expect them to come out and keep the peace? There must be another way to do this that doesn't put lives and property in danger. Because everybody's going to capitalize on this. It's my right to protest, it's my right to defend, it's just going to be all out chaos and people will be caught in the middle of it and people will get hurt. I don't know that there's any way right now that I can see that the police can stop this because whatever the police will do will invariably be tied to brutality, will be tied to the very thing that is the source of this problem. Hmm. Are you sure this, about this, that? But are you? Well, that's my estimation. I can't see how it won't be because even the things that have happened since then. When I saw the report last week of the shooting at Etire, all the person was saying in the video is, the police are shooting, the police are shooting. No, why did they start shooting? They didn't just come out of their police station and start shooting. There was no context. Mm. So again, what's going to happen? 
you can't expect that the minute they come out and they say they're doing anything to keep the peace, it will be misinterpreted. So Whether they will not allow, in the right they will not the allow these people have a, a field day? A field day, exactly. Ha, huh. Uti, we're in trouble, though. <laughs> Let me come to Lavi. <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> okay, my thing on this is that, um, like, we, you know, I told you that it was a development story on Tuesday. Yeah. That we'll see how it goes. To me, I think the whole, the whole crux of it is dead on arrival. Number one, there are other ways they can ventilate their, sorry, ventilate their grievances, which is to go and appeal the decision of a panel at the High Court of Justice. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to hit the street. And look at it. There is no longer unity of purpose. There are other people at the other side mm -hmm. saying they want to defend Lagos. And look at it. Ooh, uh, you know the people that are going to defend Lagos? These are the people. They have just done a dress. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> They are just giving you a so silent... Yes. Lagos. So, <laughs> I'm telling you what will happen on Saturday. They are going to leave them, both groups, because now the government has done its part by saying, we have gotten intelligence that chaos, anarchy is going to ensue. Mm. If you, in your own interest, you don't stay at home. Yes. So, if you don't stay at home, they still insist they are going to hit the street. It is going to be a free for all fight. A lot of people, as Puwa and as um, Uti has said, a lot of people are going to be caught in between. A lot of people are going to, just for the government to make a point. The government is not going to sit down, let you embarrass them a second time. So they also have their own strategy. So I would say that the the, the, the protest dead on arrival, they should just shelve that idea and go to court. I don't see why we should go back to the streets. Look at the aftermath of what happened in 2020, October. We are still suffering from it. So why hit the streets again where there are other avenues to channel your grievance? Okay. So there's going to be no protection on Saturday for anybody. In fact, the government and the police will be very, very happy for a free for all to ensue. Just to, you know, just to make a point. Okay, so I'm so happy that you mentioned dress rehearsal. Honestly speaking, the moment I saw this video today, that Obalende rancor, for me, honestly, it was like in my head, I just said, ah, this was, they are showing us what will happen should people decide that they want to go to occupy the Lekki toll gate, right? So I'm asking because, you see, NURTW, they are not just in a particular spot. They are spread across every look and cranny in Lagos, you know? So are these people, because if we go by our quote that they say violence is the last refuge of the incompetent, populating these people in their numbers, right, across Lagos, is this not telling us that maybe the leadership structure is filled with a lot of incompetent people? Because every time there is a problem, instead of us to sit down like mature people and iron out the issue, the next thing is to introduce subtle um what's it called um chaos so that you can everybody will forget about the issue but we know that this NSAS protest and the killings the alleged killings rather at the lucky target is not going to go down it's not going to just people will not be quiet just like that so why isn't even the government themselves coming back to say you know what let us go back to the drawing table and see how we can find a solution to this why is it because everybody is tying these thugs and the people coming to cause mayhem and violence to the government and they're still not seeing it so it's actually very tiring what are you are you you're you're looking at but, me for but trying to, trying to keep it Ua, clearly they are part of the government i can they're even the fourth arm of the government as far as i'm concerned hmm. because hmm. during election the uh, electioneering process they always come out to campaign openly for the government. Yeah. Look at the campaign grounds. They're always filled with... So they ha they know why they have the country to do what they're doing. They're part of the government, mm. whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. And those are the crop of people that come in on Saturday to defend it. And the other side of people, the occupied Lagos, are going to go there defenseless, with no arm and all that. And they are coming with arms. So in their own interest, I will just say, sit down. And in go. your house. Don't, it don't even bother. It's okay. not going to work.
<laughs> Uti, you know what? Let's oh quickly God, go on a very short break. When we return, I'll take your comments. Stay with us. We'll be right back.